And it is my appeal that we are conscious and discern that we always walk in the light of the Lord, of His Word. But you know, there's a call. We may have lived a wayward life the past days. God is sounding out a call. Ezekiel 36, I will give you a new heart, verse 26, and put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and you will keep my judgments to do them. Verse 28, Then you will dwell in the land that I gave your fathers. You shall be my people and I will be your God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First John chapter 1, verse 6. If we say that we have fellowship with him and work and walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light, as Jesus, he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Wow. Wow final few verses if we say that we have no sin <laughs> if we are proud we boast about our self righteousness if we say we have no sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us we always come to God and say Lord like, just the, like the Pharisee who came to the temple one day he came forward, and there are two of them actually. One was a tax collector, and he was this Pharisee. And he, you know, he, he was saying, Oh Lord, thank you, I'm here. You know, I've been fasting, I've been giving to the poor. You know, I'm really good. Thank you, Lord, for making me a nice guy. And then he opened his eyes, and he saw the tax collector. And he goes, uh, Thank you also that you have not made me like this guy. This guy is uh, from the Bay Ar. They are always corrupt. They always make copit. Okay? Stealing money from the government. That's pride. And it says, if we say we have no sin, the truth is not in us. We deceive, us, we deceive ourselves. Verse 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. My brothers, my sisters, let's come to the light of the word of God. Let us confess any form of darkness in our lives because when you confess, God cleanses you and makes you a person that he, that you, that he wants you to be. It says, if we... If we have sins, He is faithful, He is just. He will forgive us our sins, he cleansing us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make Him to be a liar. And His word is not in us. So my appeal this morning is this. If some way, somehow, the past few days, past few weeks, the works of darkness, has kind of penetrated our lives within some unguarded moments. The call is out this morning. He say, come. Those who will come to me, I will in no way cast them out. Come. Those of you who are labor, labor and heavy laden, I will give you rest. You come. Confess. Just come to the light. Be free because Jesus is the light. He can forgive you, can cleanse you, can make you, can give you a brand new heart. Amen. This is light versus darkness. We are the children of light. Amen. Amen.